I'm Lee Nickel, a biologist with Golder Associates. Golder has been working with the Mount Polly Mine on their environmental program following the tailings dam breach that occurred on August the 4th, 2014. Rebuilding a functioning stream ecosystem in this landscape is an enormous undertaking. But as we're able to see the progress being made, it is also an enormously rewarding project. Mount Polly has been pursuing a field engineered approach where experienced engineers and habitat restoration biologists direct the design based on the conditions encountered. This field fit approach has been supported by the Ministry of Environment and by Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Since the August 2014 failure of the tailings pond at Mount Polly Mine, the provincial government continues to oversee all environmental remediation work by the company. Regular and thorough sampling took place in Quinell River, Quinell Lake, Hazeltine Creek and Polly Lake. These tests looked at water quality both for drinking and for aquatic life. Testing also included fish tissue sampling as well as sediment sampling. It's nice to see, you know, the tests come, have been coming back that the water is safe to drink, uh, the fish are safe to eat and um, we're happy with those results but of course we'll keep monitoring in the future. The province has worked closely with the Williams Lake Indian Band, the Soda Creek Indian Band and the local communities. All were actively involved in assessing the environmental impacts from the breach as well as all monitoring and subsequent remediation work. Post uh, TSF failure in having the ability to bring on and have that seat at the table and bring on the capacity needed to give proper feedback at a technical level I think was definitely key in continuing to grow our relationship with Mount Pauly but to make sure that the work was being done and being done properly. You know the mine site is going to be there in a snapshot of our lives but we are going to be here forever so we have to make sure it's done right and so far so good. My name is Katie McMahon. I was born and raised here in Williams Lake and I was a member of the environmental team here at Mount Pauly for a number of years. Although it was a really devastating event, as scientists we want to learn what we can out of this work that's going on and so we're studying methods for restoring functioning forest ecosystem, methods for rehabilitating the soil and trying to improve best practices really. Since day one we've um, been doing a ton of environmental monitoring and really prioritizing fixing up the creek. My name is Gabriel Holmes and I grew up in likely British Columbia um, and I'm an environmental technician here. I've worked here since 2011. I'm really proud of reintroducing the fish into the creek. There's a whole bunch of things I could go on and on, but reintroducing fish into Hazeltine Creek was a real milestone. The success of the spawning last year, the rainbow trout in Hazeltine Creek, a real milestone. The uh, vegetative communities that are developing in our terrestrial landscapes and riparian areas. And then, of course, uh, this year, seeing a number of sockeye salmon in Edney Creek. I'm really proud to see that occur because that's one of our end goals that we were, uh, that we were trying to accomplish. And to, and to see them utilizing the system uh, today, it's fantastic. So we finished our in-stream work in Hazeltine Creek in 2021. Shortly thereafter, we saw sockeye return in the fall of 2021. And we're witnessing it again today here at Hazeltine Creek. One of the things we're looking for in terms of meeting our objectives for the remediation here at Hazeltine Creek is self-sustaining vegetative communities. We're beginning to see that here in some of the lower reaches of Hazeltine Creek. Uh, and we, we know that's occurring because we can see various age classes of some of the target species that we want to grow here. So we can see cedar germination, birch germination, there's some, uh, some of the alder that we've planted has reached reproductive maturity and is seeding and, 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 um, and reproducing. And we see an abundance of, of conifer germinants in the area. We've really set a high precedent for what needs to happen following an incident like this and that the type of work that can be done and should be done to clean up sites. 